Hello everyone, this is Richard Hay from the Super Cypher Windows. Good to be with you today. Here to show you the new and latest out-of-box experience for the Windows 10 Creators update. This is build 15058 and it's running in a virtual machine so I can't give you any sound again but I can certainly show you the new process that questions you will go through as you set up Windows 10 Creators update for the first time from a clean install. I basically reset this virtual machine through the Windows 10 Windows Update settings and this is that process and now I'm just before it starts to ask me the different questions as I start to set up the machine. We call that OOBE or out of box experience. So the big, if you have a system that has sound on it on normal hardware, Cortana will come up and be your voice guide through this out of box experience. Now because I'm in a virtual machine of course I don't have the sound interactions because the actual machine is not running fully and I can't run it in enhanced mode which would give me sound access. So you still will see as it steps through the different categories of the setup process, there's five or six of them. It starts here with the region. It's going to make an assumption based on where your machine is. If it's correct you click yes and you continue on. This is all the basic settings. Next is keyboard layout. It wants to verify that you're on the right keyboard layout. And if you want a second one, you can add a second one, otherwise you can skip that. Then you have your standard license agreement, which you have to agree to. And now we're network, so it's verified there's a network connection. If there wasn't, it would prompt you to connect to Wi-Fi or it would prompt you to connect to a network. Because the virtual machine's already connected, it went right past that step. The next thing it's going to do is your account. So it's a personal use machine this one is. It's for testing so I choose personal and it is going to prompt me to log in with my Microsoft account. So if you want to go offline you'll notice down in the lower left corner there is a link for offline account if you choose to but just be aware you lose out on certain kinds of features when you do not use your Microsoft account with Windows 10. Syncing features between different devices that you use the same Microsoft account on and a lot of interactions and capabilities are restricted there. So this is my two-factor authentication prompt for that email address. And then the next step will be to continue to verify account related information through this out-of-box experience. Setting up a PIN is almost automatic now. You can do it later. If you're going to use Windows Hello, fingerprint, or visual face recognition, you're going to need to have a PIN anyway. It's going to insist upon it, so you may as well go ahead and set it up as you're working out of the box. Next, we move to services. First one is OneDrive. Again, this is a benefit of using your Microsoft account. It will sync things between your devices. And then Cortana, the personal digital personal assistant that you allow access to. Uh, here's the new settings page for privacy. It gives you a lot more information, allows you to turn full diagnostic data off to basic, which is the minimum you can do on Windows 10 Home. And then here we are through the normal kind of process everybody's familiar with when you do an upgrade to, if you're an insider, you see this every time you do a build upgrade. If you're an everyday user, you're seeing this when you've done a feature update and it takes you through this process and in the background the system is copying files moving things to where you want them to be if you chose to keep files and keep settings and keep apps or it's just getting the system configured and ready to go so the only difference in this out-of-box experience if this was on bare metal hardware you would have heard Cortana start things off introduce herself talk you through things and walk you through and you would be able to use voice interaction to answer a lot of these questions uh, Hopefully I get set up in the future with a machine where I actually just have my uh, digital camera set up and we'll record that process so you can hear the Cortana aspect of this out-of-box experience. But this is the new Creators Update experience in build 15058, which is very, very close to being the final build of the Windows 10 Creators Update. Two indicators, one, no watermark on the desktop, and there is no time bomb. There's no expiration of this build. So until next time, stay safe out there on the internet and we'll be in touch. Take care.